By listening to this video, you agree to the terms located at HelenMcConnell.com slash disclaimer. Hi, everybody. It's Helen McConnell here from HelenMcConnell.com. I am your tapping expert. I'm recording this video today from the Balch Hotel out in Dufer, Oregon, near the Dalles. It's in eastern Oregon, near the Columbia River Gorge. Anyway, today I wanted to do a quick video on a topic that a lot of people are feeling right now, and that is grief. And it's been my experience over all my years of tapping that grief is not a single emotion, even though we tend to say, I'm just grieving. Well, what I've discovered is that grief, what we call grief, is usually made up of anywhere from four to seven different emotions. And I find it most helpful if you decide, you figure out, which emotions are involved in your grief. So if there's anything you're grieving about and you want to get over it faster, which I think is important not to let it go on for too long because it's not good for us to grieve for too long. You have a right to grieve as long as you want. But if you'd like to experience some relief, you can start this process right away. And remember, grieving is not a single emotion. I'm going to tell you what the emotions I've generally found are involved in grief. So if you're grieving something right now, say it's you're grieving the normalcy that you once had that has sort of been taken away. <laughs> I want you to feel into it. Okay. And these are some of the emotions that you may be feeling. So feel into that grief, whatever it is, and ask yourself, do I feel sad? You might be saying, well, well, duh, of course I feel sad. That's what grief is. Well, grief isn't just sadness. And that's why it can be difficult to tap it away or tap on it because it's way more than just sadness. So ask yourself if there's sadness. And if you get a yes, then write sadness on your list and sense into how sad you feel about this topic that you're grieving. Zero to 10, how sad do you feel? And then go to the next emotion. I want you to write down yes or no. Write the emotion with the intensity number next to it for each of these. You feel angry. Okay. Feel the anger. Zero to 10, how angry do you feel about this same topic? Try not to get off the topic. Do you feel fear? It's really common that we feel fear in the midst of grieving. But we we lump them all together. And I think it's important to separate them out. So if you feel fear, write it on your list and rate the intensity of the fear you feel around this topic, the, the thing that you think you're grieving about. Do you feel any regret? And if you feel regret, write that down with an intensity number. Are you feeling loneliness? Okay, I'll go through the list, and if you feel it, write it down and write the intensity. Are you feeling any guilt? Feel any shame? Do you feel abandonment? And if you do feel abandonment, it's probably an older issue. A lot of these are. They're older, but they come up when whatever is causing us to feel grief. They come up again. Do you feel isolation or disconnection? Okay. How about insecurity? Do you feel insecure? Do you feel unworthy when you sense into this grief or the, the thing that you're grieving about? Do you feel unworthy? Okay, and these are just some of the possible emotions, but these are the most common ones. So once you get all of your individual emotions and their intensity levels written down, I want you to take the highest rated one. And if they're more than one, just pick one of the highest rated ones at a nine or 10 or eight or whatever the highest number is and use that first, start tapping on that. And you might say something like this, even though I feel this sadness, and you can repeat that, because my life just isn't normal anymore. We're going to use the pandemic as an example. 
I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And I'd rather feel and fill in the blank. How would you rather feel than sadness? I'd be peaceful or whatever comes up for you. Not the opposite necessarily, but another feeling that you'd rather feel. I'd rather feel fill in the blank. Okay. And then you can do that three times like traditional tapping, or you can just do it once and then tap like this and say this sadness on the eyebrow. I feel this sadness side of the eye. And I'd rather feel and put your feeling word in there under the eye. I didn't know I could choose to feel that new feeling under the nose, but I can choose to feel that way on the chin. And I'm choosing to feel that way now. Collarbone. I'm choosing to feel this, whatever the word in the blank is, under the arm. I'd rather feel blank than sadness. Okay. And now you just take a deep breath. And what you've done in that process is acknowledged and honored your sadness. Now, I'm not trying to say don't honor and acknowledge it. But then give your mind and body something else to think about. If we don't, we're just going to stay stuck in sadness. And then you re-rate the intensity of your sadness. Or whatever your highest thing is. But I would suggest that you tap on each item until it gets down to maybe a four, three, two, somewhere around there. And then go back and rate your grief intensity all over again. And by now, your grief for this thing will likely have gone down considerably. And if I didn't say this, I'm going to say it now. Rate your grief at the beginning. What your overall grief, like I feel so like I'm grieving. Okay. And that is the way that I deal with grief with my clients. Break it down into smaller pieces so that you can see how all of these things have added to your grief. And they may not actually all be related to this thing that you think they're all related to. And don't worry about it. Let your subconscious mind bring it all up. You've acknowledged it, given yourself um, an alternate feeling and realize that you can choose to feel differently. All right, I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, you can put them in the comment below. My name is Helen McConnell, your tapping expert. See you soon.